What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before and today I'll be talking about the positives and the negatives of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 and before we get into that man I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops since Black Ops 1. It's been a long ride you know I've been here since Black Ops 1. I'm an original and to be playing Black Ops 6 I thought I would never see the day but here we are playing Black Ops 6 man 15 years wow it's crazy it's really crazy but anyways moving on to the main topic of today um, you know what's the positives and the negatives about this game and some concerns that I want to list so let's first start off with the maps because I know a lot of you guys want to talk about the maps already is it good is it bad is, is it average in my opinion most of these maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 are average at best I think some of them are too massive for a 6v6 I mean is it gonna be really committed to or dedicated to like a 6v6 game I think some of these maps do not belong here you <laughs> know they really don't so instead of getting rid of them how come they don't just add a 9v9 and pretty much keep the big map rotations for the ground war and the small map rotations for 6v6 that's what we exactly what we need right now so that's my biggest complaint so far the game needs a ground war for these types of maps if they're going to be adding a lot of big maps like this because uh, once you play TDM or Kill Confirm, it just becomes too boring. Everybody's hiding in every single corner of the map. It's just very, very boring. That's why I only have hard point on rotation because it just becomes too boring for me. I'm not going to be averaging 19 kills a game because everybody decides to hide in TDM. Like, hell no, man. Hell no. It's too boring. <laughs> I want to experience the game to its fullest. So that's why I play hard point. Uh, moving on to the next thing, which will be the weapons. You know, I want to talk about the attachments. This is a big positive for me. Now... I am glad that most of these attachments don't give you negatives because if you guys play Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Cold War, uh, most of the attachments give you big negatives like you lose accuracy, you lose weapon aim speed, it just becomes very nitpicky. But now you can just add whatever site you want, any attachment you want, and you won't even lose speed except for like the mags and the, and the red dot sites. Yeah, some of them do reveal your position and yeah, so the extended mag does slow down your, your aim a little bit. but all the other attachments they give you positives so hey take me in man this is actually pretty good so i like that they made that decision because now it brings us back to modern warfare 2019. you know 2019 was amazing because all the attachments gave you positives so we're back to that era man it's, it's so far it's been great with that with that stuff because now i can make my weapons great again <laughs> anyways uh moving on to the next thing uh going back to the maps again um, yeah, they look bland. They look very, very bland. And they need a little bit more coloring. Like, I don't know about you guys, but it looks like Modern Warfare 3 all over again. It looks grayish, brownish to me. Unless I'm blind as hell or colorblind, but yeah, it's missing some color. I, I want to admit that it's missing a lot of color. I mean, you can notice it in this gameplay in the background by some vehicles, some of the walls, some of the uh, in store products. I mean, they look like very loose on color. So, um, so yeah, that's one, one complaint. That's a tiny complaint. It's not that major, to be honest. Uh, moving on to the next thing will be the kill streaks. Uh, the kill streaks are very basic at best. I mean, it's the same thing that we've been using over the past years with Black Ops. I mean, not much has changed, really. The only Call of Duty Black Ops game that has actually renovated or innovated was Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Black Ops 4 already had the same kill streaks from Black Ops 3 and 2, so really um they haven't done nothing special with the kill streaks it's just black ops 1 and cold war all over again so nothing special about the kill streaks they're not like oh yeah i'm excited to use this thing like it's the same thing man. and i believe modern warfare 3 had better kill streaks too because of the ac 130 and all that fun stuff um but anyways yeah the kill streaks are basic at best um the character selection i have a big problem with it so why there's there's no military characters there's like no milsims like at all so <laughs> most of the characters that you have is like casual people like who are these people bro i know woods for, i played campaign a long time ago back in black ops 1 but uh come on man like there's gotta be more better looking characters than what we have now they look poorly designed for fuck's sakes i'm not gonna use a lady with a damn beret man like it's crazy it's crazy like it's dumb and we need more militaristic characters all right and that's just my opinion though i'm not forcing them to do it i'm not forcing you guys to like that same thing i'm just saying that there's need to be more variety when it comes down to casual looking people to like militaristic 
type of deal, you know, because it is a militaristic game and we don't get none of that in this game. It's just people casually running around with casual characters. <laughs> That's all it is. I mean, just take a look at it and you'll notice. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about will be the leveling up system. It takes a while to level up. I'll tell you what, I've, I think this is one of the slower ones because it's taken a long time to unlock all the attachments. I mean, by now I should have all the attachments unlocked in Modern Warfare 3 because most of them leveled up pretty quick. But now it takes a while. It really does. So um, that's why I'm saying like I can't complain much about the aim of the guns or some of the hit detections because I have not unlocked all the attachments for most of the guns. And uh, the only thing I can talk about really is about the lag. I mean, it doesn't happen until like the 10th game when you get matched up from people from Asia. And you'll know when you mess up, get people matched up with Asia because of the Asian names. I mean, you have like Chinese characters in there. At that point, you're like, oh, okay, so I'm being matched up with someone from Taiwan or something. I don't know. From China or someone from Japan. Like, I understand, bro, like, you want to play in the U.S. servers, but it's going to lag the entire lobby, man. <laughs> you will for sure have the advantage, for sure, like, no problem, but, like, damn, it becomes annoying where you're just, like, popping around, like, by freaking pixel. Like, it's insane. Like, like nah, man, you, you need to chill out with that. But, like, you'll know when you're lag when you see the Chinese characters in your lobbies. Like, it's just bad. At that point, you know it's going to be bad. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. Because they're probably using VPN or some other type of deal. I don't know. Anyways, um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Those are the positives and the negatives of the game. If you guys have something new that I did not mention, let me know in the comment section. I'll add it, and I'll answer it in the next video. I'll even mention it to you guys that uh, you know this guy talked about you know how I didn't mention this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. You know, <laughs> I will mention it in the next one for sure. Now, the next video for sure will be about the zombies one. So get ready for that one. That video will be about the positives and the negatives. But uh, long story short, I did enjoy zombies. It's it's fun. I know it's not like old school, but like it's fun to me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so that is it, guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, moments, or complaints, let me know in the comment section. I'll read it later. So that is it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.